Hey, it's Adler from FM1 and one backstage, day number one at Lollapalooza with a band that not only is playing Lollapalooza, but an even bigger deal. They're coming to Milwaukee. It's the Beaches. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, how are you? Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Uh, all right, I want to start off weird but easy. Yeah. Hey, Toronto, no tea. Toronto, no tea. Toronto, you're immediately American. Good. Okay, all right. I'm asking because the plan is next summer to go to Buffalo and Toronto. Oh. Toronto. God damn it. I'm already kicked out. Toronto. It's easier to say even. Why the fuck am I, why am I making it so hard? I mean, you, 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 truly, you truly can say it either way. It's just you know you're a local if no. you say it Toronto. That's what I want to do. I want to be a local. I got the loonies and toonies down. I got all that shit. But I just, I just need hard tea, no tea. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good. Uh, me and me, first of all, cool, great single, but Blame My Ex coming out uh, a month, right? Yeah. Yep. September 15th. We're very excited for it. I think it's our, our favorite, uh, I would say, work of art to date. Yeah, for sure. Yes. We're, we're really, really stoked on it. Yeah. The single's so fucking cool. Thank you. It's Thank you. so well. Um, a very weird and old thing, all right? The video Money. First of all, the song Money. When it came out, I'm like, all right, every commercial is going to use this for whatever. Credit companies, whatever. You're like, it's such a fucking jam. But if you decide to frame by frame redo the video money, yeah. I'm willing to offer my services. The guy that kicks you out of the motel, stay with me. Pretty good? Am I in? That's the tow truck driver. Yeah. <laughs> He has an Instagram, Joe the Toe. Peep yeah. it. Peep it on Insta. But yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Like a big deal? I don't remember if he's kicking us out. He's like, let's go. Yeah. Your, your ride's here. I realize like, I have the same kind of ham head as he does. <laughs> and I'd like to uh, try to get famous for two seconds by being on a sure. remake of the video. If there's a sequel, you're Why Joe the Toe. You're Joe Why? the Toe. <laughs> you're in it. You're in it. Uh, congratulations on 10 years as a band. That's no joke. Yeah, it's insane. We don't look like we've been doing it for 10 years, I hope. Start when you were four. We started when we were really young. <laughs> but yes, thank you. Uh, 10 years, like, okay. Uh, at what point was there one kind of thing, meeting Dave Grohl, uh, getting your, your stuff on, on Toronto radio, was there one thing where you go, Jesus? Like, it, like were you exceeded? I think it was when our songs started getting heavy rotation on the radio in, in Toronto especially. And, yeah, there's been so many, like, bucket list milestone moments for us. But I think that was the first major one for me personally. Or hearing our, oh, we're good. Hearing our single on the radio for the first time in the car was pretty wild. Yeah. Were you together? No, just, just, you just had to call somebody. And be like, I think we may have been for you? Give It Up. I remember we drove around your block with your dad and your dogs <laughs> it's a full car to hear it. too much <laughs> something weird though compared to the, the old stuff versus at least the single that i heard is that usually you're like oh it's so so much more tight than it is now you guys started out so strong that i feel like the trajectory was like it should be like this and it was like already really high and you just kind of went ah! i mean thank you that's yeah. the sound We've been honing our craft for a long time, yeah. and we're always in the studio. We're best friends, so we just click, um, and we mesh really well. We're just like we're in this for the long haul. We're gonna work and we're working hard. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Uh, blame my ex. How long, beginning to end, kind of did it take to make? Um, it was about a year, actually. Um, okay. So we kind of didn't really know what we wanted to write the record about, and then we all kind of got dumped. So it all, oh it all, it all became well, except Liza. Um, Liza, Liza and her man stay strong, but the three of us got dumped, and, and then it kind of all came together, um, like in a, a way. Like a, like a hurricane, like an well, well, too, we or? actually wrote "Blame My Ex," and then we're gonna release it, and then okay. Leander and I got dumped within two weeks of each other. So we kind of, it was like a, a prophecy, if anything. <laughs> yeah, the curse of "Blame My Ex." <laughs> Sorry so about we're, that, guys. Sorry we're about method that. actors. Yeah, we yeah. are. It took it took about a year, and you know we were we're now it's an independent release, which is really exciting yeah. for us. We haven't had that in like the last ten years. We've always been signed, so we really wanted to make sure that this next piece of work was exactly what we wanted to say, the right sound, and we just found a really great group of people to work with, and it all came together really easily and really well. And so we're really excited for the fans to hear it. I love me and me is just that's such a nice. It, like like thematic, with, probably with the album. Maybe I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with the album. It's okay. 
It's a different stage of grief. The process. It's the process. Yeah. It's not. It's not grief. It's uh, learning to love yourself again and feeling confident, kind of going back out into the world as a single lady. As somebody who's struck out several times in the world of love and dumped several times for numerous reasons, but finally hit. No, I got. I'm good. I'm, I'm very good now. Twelve years. But I kind of love that feeling. Not right when it happened, but like a week or two after, where you go. You go, two, months, two months, two months. Uh, we, two uh, months we, is a sweet spot. When you're grocery store hunting a little bit, you start like taking double looks in. Uh, uh, like, listen, I'm in that right now. Are you? Okay. Girl, right, well, it's fun. I, I just feel like it's this um, unexplained like sense of freedom where you're like, wait, wait, wait. No one's tying me down here. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I feel like it's like a realization that would hit yeah. you, you know? Yeah. I'm glad that both genders understand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I, just, I wish I would have put it into an album. I wish I had any musical talent. Instead, I just... I drank and then like tried to play music. I think I bought a bass. That was good. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, that's something. Uh, anyway, excited for you guys coming to Milwaukee October eighth. Um, yes. We're if really anything stoked. Anything you guys want to see or do or need? Let oh, me know. absolutely. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Thanks so much. Yeah. And that was not. Yeah, that was not a, a, a setup because you guys, they're still off the market by then probably. So leave them. Al- <laughs> we don't know. Oh, hope they're not. Uh, September 15th, new album comes out. October 8th, they're going to be in Milwaukee at the beaches. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.